Right, I'm going to make this video snappy. It was requested by Polinio09. Uh, he wanted me to show the backwards compatibility between M series keypads and TS series keypads on the same system. Just a quick brief overview it's an MENVIA networker system. The network range is split up into two a TS and the M series. The M series is the brand new one, the TS is the old system, which is now obsolete, and all the devices are backwards compatible through the network range. So in this video I'm just going to be showing the compatibility and also how to add a proximity tag to the system. So we're going to start off with a TS pad. There are four keypads on this system to date. There's this keypad here, one at the other end of the garage, the engineer's keypad plugged in upstairs and the M pad which is there. So I'm just going to do a set the system. So preparing to set, please wait, you just hit zero. Let the system set right and then we'll unset it. Takes a oh, it's starting to set again. Sometimes it registers the fobs twice. Now, system is busy, please wait. So system is open and it should be displaying my message on the Jericho security, which is. Okay, so system is busy. It won't be soon. Turn out the screen here. Okay, so it's not with Jericho security, which it should be. Now inbuilt proximity on this, so it'll now say preparing to set, please wait. But we'll unset using the this one. That just shows that it's all compatible. Right, I'm just going to add a new proximity tag to the system quickly. I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it through a TS pad and an M pad. It's both the same. Oh, also with with a TS pad. You need one of these readers clipped in to these pins here. You need a reader. Whereas the MKP3, which is this keypad, has one built in. So, anyway, so I'm just going to enter my code in. Right, and hit enter. And we want to go to user menu 2. We hit 4. Set up users. I'm just going to go for user 8 because I think that one's free. Yes, it is. All right, so if we just set it as a standard, which is number two, hit enter, it'll go bidder bing, and now it'll say prox tag or curd. Now, the only way you can have a curd, no, a proximity tag, is if your system is a 59, is if your system's a 690, 790 plus, 900 plus, or a 2500. The 790 and the 900s on their own, they won't do it. So you just swipe that. And recognizes it. Da -da -ding. Right, that confirms it. So that was user eight, and you'll see if I swipe in zero, pops the fobs now set. Now I'm just going to remove that fob again. I've removed that user now. Okay, so I'll just add a user onto here. So if I enter my code in, hit enter. Just wait for it to stop being busy. Right, user menu one. We want to go to user menu two. So hit enter. Press four. 
set up users so enter a user number I'm just going to do it 08 again Hit enter alter type standard we want Hit enter prox tag upload present your prox into tag and you're done simple as if you ever want to remove a user you have to use the master code now the master code can't be a, a, a fob it has to be a, a four digit code so like one five six nine or one five eight seven something like that or one four two three one two three four etc has to be something along the lines of that all right so i hoped that i hope that was uh, good good enough for you now I'll just get uh, down to disconnecting uh, this keypad and putting it back away alright thanks for watching bye